Hello, everybody. My name is Pooter, and welcome back to Let's Play Pathologic 2. Let me pause that. Um, the last time that we played, uh, I got to town, found out that my that my dad was dead, um, went and had a few you know options of where to go to save myself. We found like a step girl that was getting burned at the stake. The town's in complete and utter chaos, and I have to try to find a place to stay to kind of get away from the town who's trying to hunt me and not endanger anybody else. That's at least my, my thought process for it. Also, I had to replay the last episode, pretty much, because I didn't realize that this game is on a, apparently a very strict autosave schedule. I made all the same decisions that were in the previous video, uh, so it shouldn't affect the storyline too much. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. I, it was a complete mistake on my part. Um, I did not mean to do that. Also, I want to shout out one of the new subscribers. Uh, Rexy in the last video commented and told me that I don't necessarily have to play the first game in order to understand the second game. Uh, Pathologic is apparently just a game completely made to confuse you, uh, make you feel anxious all the time and, and on edge, which, you know, as long as I know that I'm supposed to feel lost, I feel a lot better about that. So thank you very much, Rexy, for letting me know that I'm having a ton of fun playing this thing, and I hope you guys are having a lot of fun watching it. Without further delay, I'm in here. Can't talk to you. Oh, boy. Can I talk to- oh, you don't look menacing at all. Why are you up there like that? What is going on here? Lose an hour, and you won't catch up in a year. Right. Well, look who's entered my humble home. Could that be my pal, Artemy, the artist? The Artemy who cuts arteries, maybe? No. I don't recognize this man. Too soft. They must have kept him swaddled and coddled, whatever palace he ran off for. Palace? I left for school. <laughs> if anyone's ever been to university, they know that schools are not a palace. Climb on the ladder then. <laughs> if only. A little bird told me you're a hard-boiled criminal now. I'll admit, old friend, I got misty-eyed with pride. Lucky for you, I can store you anywhere in the warehouse, and no old quail nor nightingale would sing a tune. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, It was self-defense. Forget it. Tell me this, friend. What's your plan? My plan? Why do you ask like that? Do you know about my father's murder? Okay. I do. May he rest in peace. He was a decent man and the best saw bones around. You honor him. What's the plan then? Revenge or something with a little more finesse? I'll find out who's behind this then. We'll see. I like that answer. Just stay away from Sabrov. I mean it, cub. That man's a hawk. All might makes right no sense. He'll throw you in jail first and only think months later. I know your thick skull too. You charge in there, shoulder squared, thinking, oh, the truth will win out. Bullshit, stay away, you hear me? Are you finished? Calm down. I like that. And so it's this guy. Okay, um, so what is this? You're telling me I just had to walk five feet in front of me and I could have saved the game. Jesus Christ. Screw you, bad grief, and monkey man. Okay, so the only thing that's different with this playthrough than the last one is that I didn't actually... If you remember in the last one, I, I got into a fight and I ended up killing a kid. It's just not good. I did not do that this time. I was able to kind of not get caught. Talks cheap. You run so into the old cheap. crowd. Saka Rubin, Lara, haven't seen them around. Gotta say, it's a tough time for our friendship. I mean, if you can even call this friendship. Gravel-hearted Lara won't look at me now, and sucks even worse. He completely ignored my plea for help. You need help? You gone outside recently? It's chaos. Innocent souls torn limb from limb. Everyone's lost their mind hunting the culprit. A step golem, some think, but others? They're after your hide, friend. All this going on, naturally my men ran into a mob, barely got out alive. They need a sawbones, bad. Your old man's gone and his star student, Saka, won't take the job, so... Uh, people mistook your men for me? Each and every one of them? Something tells me your men weren't out there feeding the poor. 
Uh, let me patch them up. I am a surgeon after all. Your men still here. Let's do that. Not here. Shiner dropped by. Said they're waiting for death in a hideout. Poor piecework. He's knocking on heaven's door. Got something stuck in the belly. Can you believe, folks? They're all shapeshifters, I swear. Shedding skin and eating each other. May not look into it, but every person in this town has a vile beast inside. I need tools. Do you have... Don't have any on me. Tools? Got you all set, friend. Blessed be the warehouses. <laughs> the wellspring of goods, including illegal ones. There. Take a peek inside that crate and choose anything your heart desires. Although, maybe you should stick around. Dangerous out. Uh, knock it off. Not like I can stay here forever. I'll drop by the patient when I'm in the area. Wonderful. You find anything in his belly he doesn't need, don't toss it. Bring it to me. Might be useful. What? Like a memento? <laughs> You're still... Oh, a weird one. Bread in the bone, I suppose. Okay. Alright, so... and Oh, why... Thank you, kind sir. Uh, okay, there's some money. There's also some coffee. Could always use some coffee and, and an egg. Y you know? That's what I tend to do. Rusty scalpel, that's... And a needle. Rusty scalpel... That can't be good. So maybe I'll... Maybe I'll go by my the my father's student and see how that pans out. I can't believe I just had to walk five feet to save the fucking game. That's so <laughs> aggravating. I know now, at least, though. Everyone hates me. I'll be hunted. Guys. Guys. I didn't even do anything. All right? I need blood. What do I need blood for? Alright, don't mind me. Alright, I am in the area I need to be in. Um, get somewhere where I feel safe. Is this the... Okay, yeah, this is the... The dude's house has to be somewhere around here. Is this it? Yeah, don't mind me, man. Just walking into your house. No big deal. And it's this seems so creepy. What's happening in here? Oh. Yeah, this isn't terrifying or anything, bro. Seriously? The soul's mechanics mirror the bodies. Oh. He's in the very first episode I made to talk to him. Okay, cool. Well, one thing is clear. You are a very, very lucky man, which means you need to take care of yourself. You are so careless. It's Artemy Barak, right? Barak. Artemy Baraka. And he's, isn't this guy supposed to be like my dad teacher? Apologies. Oh, and may I ask, is it true that your actions have already resulted in four deaths? I'm not in the habit of displaying my guts to strangers, especially when they can't even remember my name. Three. Are you a detective? Let me do the first one. Daniel Dankowski, Bachelor of Medicine, at your service. But before we speak any further, I'd like to clarify a rather crucial thing. Just how highly do you hold your sense of duty? Too highly, clearly, since it brought me back to this wretched town. <laughs> Why do you ask? All Baraks are guided by duty. It runs in the family. Uh, I like the last one. Well, from this point on, you ahem, owe me. I just saved you from a rather grisly fate. I don't remember seeing a rescue team. <laughs> I like that one. Your Reuben has utterly murderous intents. Isidore meant quite a lot to him. Your father was his mentor. Reuben even considers himself old Baraka's true son, unlike you. Anyway, he thinks you're to blame for your father's death. What a load of sheet. What a load of absolute crap. All right. I was on a train hallucinating. It's great defense. Uh, I managed to convince him that you didn't actually kill Is Isidore. 
well, not empirically, but I'm under the impression that in Ruben's mind, you still caused your father's death. You did, after all, take your sweet time getting here while Isidro was counting on your help. Is that true? I b b b no, it's not, and I sent some foul play at your valiant attempt to save me from my best friend. Look, you have my condolences, Farak. That's not my name. Uh, but since you've established that you owe me, let me explain how you repay your debt. Things are about to get a little tense, and I need only one thing. Just do exactly as I tell you. You're a doctor, right? Barack, how are things going to get tense? I'm a surgeon, a good one too. We haven't established that I owe you anything, buddy. That will do the first one. Because I feel like it's going to give you a runaround, and I'm going to owe him anyway, so whatever. Today's tragedy won't be the last. I was blessed with a naturally high intelligence. Oh, <laughs> Humble, and my observations indicate that a very deadly visitor has come to this godforsaken town. That's all I can say for now. I don't like you, bachelor whatever. <laughs> Allow me to sum up. Ruben told me he's the only decent doctor in town, but you're a competent surgeon. I need you alive, healthy, and quiet, close at hand. Spare me any wild improvisations. I'll be the one handling the situation. Medicum Morbo Adebere. Who, who fucking knows? How about you just shut up? I'll deal with Ruben myself. No middleman required. Where is he? We'll go with that one. Uh, gone to carry out my orders. From now on, your Ruben does what I tell him to do. He entered my service of his own accord. I suggest that you do the same. It will help everyone. It's, I just hate big city dandies who think they know best. Stubbornness is my guiding star, second only to my sense of duty. I suggest you put your high intelligence and good use and get out of my way. Savage! Uh, I just hate big city dandies who think they know best. Yeah, so fuck off. Alright, so what is that? what did that say? Uh, something about a bolt that's going on. There's a hunt going on, looking for a person with my features. Well, can I change my features? So, uh, in this one, let's go to the ferryman. Oh! Mm hmm. Why, hello, children. Now, kindly fuck off. Ugh. For story's sake, I'll talk to you, whatever. So what, is the asshole still in there? The one with the carpet pack? Watch your tongue, boy, though I do agree with you. Yeah, he's in there. I hereby grant you every right to throw something at him if you so desire. <laughs> That's awesome. But where's Dr. Ruben? We need a doctor. Ruben isn't here, kids. We got zero Rubens left in stock. <laughs> that obnoxious dandy is a doctor, a well-trained one, I suspect. I'm a doctor. What's the issue? I'm going to do the obnoxious dandy thing. A doctor my ass. You tried talking already, and he just shooed us away. <laughs> What, has he forgotten the Hippocratic Oath? I should give him a firm reminder. There's been a disaster. Alma, Duke, and Wolfing were poisoned. Uh, where are they? In a warehouse with little flags. Go down the railroad and to the left, you'll see it. Alright. I'll check it out. <sighs> Jeez, what did I get myself into? So I kind of want to do these things. I feel like if I do them, people will start to change their opinion about me. That has to be how the game works, right? That you do good things and then people go from hating you to like being okay with you. You don't have to worry about being attacked on the streets. And they're like, oh, there's no way he killed his dad. He's just such a good guy. Little flags. Found it. Although I didn't see any sort of like herbs. I don't really know how, how those are, are seen or found or whatever. Oh my, you guys are, are... My God, listen, which one of you is sick? Look, see everyone, the doctor's here. Who's sick? You're too late. They died. Why didn't you come sooner? What kind of doctor are you? Three kids are dead and no one gives a damn. Not kids worse. They were our dogs. Oh, they were dogs. Who poisoned them? Somebody evil. Notkin's planning on holding a trial. He wanted you to be there too. Well, at least I made it in time for the trial. Not all is lost. Oh, poor puppies. 
Are you- you look like you're about 400 years old. You're here, good, the trial can begin. Go on. A question first, they say you're no son of old Baraka. He was a doctor, he saved lives. It is said that you killed instead, is that true? I am a Baraka, I have no doubt. Calm down, no need to get defensive. Are you uncomfortable doing this in front of my soul and a halves? Are you cheeky, boy? <laughs> cheeky or not, this isn't a game. We're talking about something important here. I'm all ears. Stop trying to get under my skin, boy. Consider how they paint me as a dangerous man. Tell me, is it right to kill? We need to know what you believe. Old Baraka wasn't just a doctor to us, he was a teacher. He knew how to live. You say you are his son, so you're to take his place and answer. Is murder acceptable? It's right to kill someone who preys on the weak and defenseless, to take revenge against those who deserve it, only in self-defense, only to protect a loved one. No killing is never right, never forget that. I would say only in self-defense, truly, like if someone's going to kill you, you have the right to defend yourself. So murder can be right sometimes. Who are you planning on killing, boy? I'm seeing right through this crap, notkin, okay? It's not about me, but about us. <laughs> it's a psychopath. <laughs> My soul and the halves always hang together. There's a lot of barking going on in this room. Answer the question. Take your time if you need to. You may very well be choosing our fate. Fine, yes, sometimes killing is acceptable. Good. We now know t the kind of man you are. Here ends the trial. You're free to go. S what? So you know me, huh? That was quick. Guess I should have. Guess I should talk to you if I'm ever get confused. I don't get it. Yeah, neither do I. What the fuck just happened? It still says you need help. Can Good, you? Evil. What? You have your revenge, and so do we. We now know how to deal with Lika, and the verdict can't be appealed. All you and I have in common now is that today will end soon. Go. Thanks for your help. What does Lika do anyway? Lika poisoned our friends, who were weak and defenseless. It's an open and shut case. You mean the dogs? We are soul and a halves. To us, they were not mere dogs, but friends, and we prefer them to people. <laughs> Same. Agreed. So, why do you care? Listen, kids, I'll, I'm just looking for a good place to hide. Stay here, then. This is sanctuary. No grown-up would ever would dare enter. So, would you like me to deal with your poisoner? Where did that come from? Here's our problem. <laughs> He's our problem, not yours. You've done your part. We'll do the rest. You'll put him on guard. I, however, can get the drop on him. You're scaring me. I'm starting to suspect you're not joking. Why the jitters, old man? You look tougher when you told us the murder is righteous. On your way, Baraka the Younger. We'll work this one on ourselves. You'll regret it. You truly will regret it. Okay, I um really want to get back to... Uh, the ferryman and go save those guys so let's do that I'll use my fingernail to get over there or whatever or toenail or the hell or whatever the hell it's called all right ferryman I've been hiding now I'm here um I'm gonna go up here I'm gonna save those guys first Maybe I can find another fingernail to get back down. All right, here we are. Let's. Okay, this is it. Let's um. Let's get in here. Okay. Surgery. So I'm assuming this is the stomach, the chest, the maybe the heart and the brain. You drain blood into that. I wouldn't want to do any of this stuff. So rusty scalpel. Uh, yeah, okay, so it's his stomach. What's in here? I don't know what that was. Do I want to drain the blood? So do I not want to drain blood? I feel like draining blood from the organs is not a good thing. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna exit here. Uh, hopefully that works. <laughs> hey, I can hear him breathing now. All normal. Was this? <laughs> it's a splinter. <laughs> You're clearly not from around here. This is a local tradition. We don't keep knives. They might call it cutlery, but it sure ain't for cutting. Godless beasts who fear neither life nor death make these disposables. You jab once, then it breaks. All about observing the custom. I'm from around here. I know about the custom. Nothing to do with breaking shivs, asshole. It's about not cutting bodies at all. <laughs> I love it, dude. Okay, so... I'm in where the surgery is done. The shiv is out. Um, okay, so I did the surgery. Nice. Well, you're welcome. I'm not going to do any more surgery on you, as I feel like that's malpractice. What is in here? A tourniquet. Let's add that to the one I have in some cache. Some goo-op. I took your money. I'm going to... That's going to be compensation. Uh, so is whatever's in here. Or in here. More money. See? Look. And a needle. Never know when you might need it. Thank you. I'm leaving now. Oh, my god. Okay. Um, hi. Ah, oh, finally we're back together. I've been waiting for you, Baraka. Will you have me now? Oh, who's... Um... Who are you? Don't you remember me called Boon? Well, I remember you, and I remember your words, so will you have me now? You are an herb bride. We can't have a relationship. <laughs> you have a very clear speech for a bride. Do you live in town? Your hands are so heavy. Shh, don't touch me yet, or else the dress will tear and it's no good. Ah. <sighs> The tears in the dress must appear on their own during the dance, just like the earth is torn apart when it releases herbs. I'm not... I'm not touching you. So you have me now? Will we be joined forever? But who are you? <laughs> Fine, I'll wait for you to remember me. We'll meet again soon. I'll find you. For now, try to remember who I am. Uh, there's a uh, segnated day, and there'll be trouble. You are beautiful. Yep, not creepy in the slightest bit. Let me just turn away from you. It, this game's purpose is to make you feel uber uncomfortable. Oh man, okay, I got there. I just want one place where I'm not like hunted. And I'm sure this is not that place. I gotta get around these guys. I don't see a way to, unless I'm, oh, yeah, you're just walking, don't mind me. Palms are cold. My palms are actually sweaty. Knees weak, arms are heavy. Oh, nope, fuck you. I'm out. I'm out. Nope. <laughs> Oh, don't you mind me. All right. Let me, uh, please let me in. Please let me in. Ah, uh, too bad. I'm um, too quick for you. I'm going to talk to this guy real quick. Bad grief. Over a barrel. True. Nothing to be done about it now. Let us rest on the mountain. Oh, let us rest by the river. That's the song your people sing when times are hard, isn't it? How's peace work? I assume he kicked the bucket. He meant nothing to you then. Great. <laughs> no, I patched peace work back together. Cub, my friend, you didn't mess around in school, huh? And to hell with Saka. Let him sulk. He only makes it worse for himself. So what's the plan now? The plan is to live, live and breathe and thieve and leave. <laughs> what you'd what, what'd you find inside peace work? Just curious. This, your men are fond of shivs, huh? Even an incendiary bullet would be less cruel. Well, that's people for you. I'd been wondering what our kind townsfolk fashioned those little barbs from. I see, I see. This explains who broke into Warehouse 8 last week. The thread unravels. I'll make a note of this. If you find more shivs, bring them to me. Don't give them to the kids, even if they offer bullets. Kids? Those kids have some nerve, armed to the teeth, playing at war. 
they carved off a, ni a nice slice of turf while you were gone. It won't be long till little canes start pushing us around. Look, point is, they'll offer you loot they stole from me in exchange for pointy things, premium items. Don't be a shit, just come see me. <laughs> Premium? I got myself a nice little business. You need weapons or anything illegal? Come see me. I'll let you peek below the counter. Nothing for free, of course. No discounts either. My men wouldn't respect that. Be glad I trust you enough to make any deals. So what'll it be? Show me. So you have a knife, revolver ammo, some lockpicks, some needles. So can I sell stuff? I can sell things. Get some extra cash. Yeah, how about you give me 600 bucks? Right? How about you give me $600? And I just say later. You're probably going to be really useful. All right, let me save. Did away with your father. We'd spare the beast nothing. Shut up. I'm doing my outro. Jesus. All right, guys, that's it for today. Uh, thank you for tuning in and watching this. I really do appreciate your time. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and like the video if you liked it or dislike it if you didn't. Uh, you can leave any sort of thing in the comments. You can give me tips on the game. You can suggest other games that I play, things I'm doing well, things I'm not doing well. All that's really appreciated. Also, if you haven't done so, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Becoming a subscriber uh, does nothing for you, but it is also free. So. <laughs> It does things for me, and I really appreciate that. Uh, growing the channel is going to be super, super fun. I do stream um, at least on the weekend. Sometimes I'll sneak in a weekday stream here or there, but I stream every Saturday. Um, we're going to be starting to do it a little bit earlier. I used to do it around 8 p.m. Eastern. I'm going to be switching that and doing it around 4 to 5 p.m. Eastern, just so we're not up so late. Uh, me and my friends, we're not young, so we got to get our sleep. <laughs> But that's it for today. I appreciate all of you, and I will see you next time. Much love.